Many people are still trying to recover nearly a year after the Caldor fire burned hundreds of homes and sparked that unprecedented evacuation of South Lake Tahoe. Yeah, the destructive fire sparking one artist to use her work to help heal and at the same time give back to her community. KCRA 3's Lise Mitri shows us how. It feels like a really healing thing to do. Shelly Zentner remembers the first time she used charcoal. She was about 12 years old. It's dirty, it's got the gas all over your hands. And, and uh, as soon as I made that first mark, I was just in love. It's gorgeous, the texture of it. She never would have imagined as an adult she'd be surrounded by it. <laughs> Capturing scenes of charred trees, a landscape transformed around South Lake Tahoe since the Caldor fire. The blaze burned more than 220,000 acres. It forced Zentner out of her Christmas Valley home at the end of August last year. It was already raining ash. You know, we already couldn't go outside. And she had already seen what happened to Grizzly Flats when the fire tore through there. There was definitely part of me that was preparing for, for the worst. Her neighbor, Kathy Vaughn, felt the same way after evacuating from the cabin that had been in her family for generations, going back to her great grandfather. And actually, I was sure we were going to lose it. I was positive. The fire spotted over Highway 50, crept down toward Christmas Valley, and then... Just right over. Unbelievable. It seemed to hop over their community with the help of the wind and the work of the firefighters, leaving just a strip of green trees between the brown burn scar. I mean, it's hard to not use the word miracle when you see what happened. We couldn't believe it. It was just so surreal. When Zentner returned home, she scoped out just how close some spot fires had gotten. kind of just started kind of like rifling through the the burnt wood and started to sort of just pile it in my hands like this like I do when I'm working. The charcoal remnants from the fire sparked an idea. As soon as I started drawing with it I was like huh okay this is this is how we heal you know this is how I've always healed. She took the dead trees around her and gave them new life. I feel like each piece seeds the next one. Eventually leading to a whole collection of art titled Call and Response. Some of the work is, is challenging to look at, I, I, I know that. But I wanted to include light in every single piece so that there's always an element of hope. This piece features trees Zentner's neighbor says she grew up with. Right here, these are them. This, this graveyard here is those four trees. Vaughn and her husband can now remember them through Zentner's work. Dan and I knew we had to have that painting. And they admire more than just Zentner's talent. They admire how she's using it to give back. Donating all the profits from prints of this and from copies of her collection catalogs to the Wildland Firefighter Foundation, which helps families of firefighters killed or hurt on the job. She says she's raised more than $1,000 so far. We were just so profoundly grateful and had no idea of the hardships that they endure while they're fighting fires like this. Um, so I wanted to give back in, in some way. Her way of saying thank you after fire crews helped save her community. It feels good actually. I can feel the wildflowers starting to bloom. You know, it's, uh, it's all recovering right now. In South Lake Tahoe, Liz Amy Tree, KCRA 3 News. A lot recovering there. Just beautiful. Well, Zentner's work will be featured at the Halden Gallery at Lake Tahoe Community College. It'll be up through September 2nd if you want to go check it out.